Speaking of uh, history and uh, Reformation tours, we've been inundated with uh, John Boehner's Reformation tour. And there seems to be an ongoing project to try and make the Republican Party. Um, and, and, and to some extent, this is completely predictable. Like the, the idea that they were going to attempt. And it's been hard because I think so much of the act of Republican Party is um, still clinging to Donald Trump uh, with, a, with an incredible measure of desperation. But there are people who are um, uh, trying to, you know, they're worried about their legacy. And uh, George Bush is coming out there and trying to distance himself from the Republican Party of today. And uh, so much of what George Bush did in his eight years and the Republicans at that time were the precursor to this, that it's uh, almost grotesque uh, to see him um, uh, sort of now uh, uh, deified. There's a certain amount of, uh, you know, this happens all the time. Uh, even when Nixon died, there was some sort of reformation project. Same with uh, with Ronald Reagan. Um, here is George Bush on the Today Show today um, saying he's just a, a simple painter and uh, basically... The uh, the two of them here are talking about this hypothetical Republican uh, uh, politician who's going to possibly, um, you know, save the Republican Party. If you were to describe the Republican Party as you see it today, yeah, how would you describe it? Uh, I would describe it as isolationist, protectionist, and to a certain extent, nativist. Pause for one Man. second. You Pause it for one second. The isolationist, of course, he's saying because they didn't want to engage in the wars that I did. I mean, let's remember, we are now just preparing to leave the 20 year war that George Bush started in Afghanistan. Which later in the interview, by the way, he expects expressed skepticism for uh, us withdrawing because what about the women and girls of Afghanistan? And, Sam? and look, that that is a, um, a, a not a completely illegitimate concern, but one which he had much opportunity to address, except for he uh, when we were there, he turned to Iraq. If he had really if he thought there was any chance for anything other than a completely open-ended permanent presence in that country that chance was 17 18 years ago um well and i mean just the faux concern for oh the united states funded religious fundamentalism back in the day in afghanistan and now look the consequences of religious but, fundamentalism and let's let me you know use that as an excuse to continue even to if i take this him, country even yeah, if okay. i take him at face value though even I, if i take him at sincere but, but he's we still well i mean that I, I don't know what's in his heart but I do know what he did, and I do know what he did not do. Uh, exactly. I don't know what's in his heart. <laughs> um, and then uh, the idea that, uh, that this party is nativist and was not in any way uh, promoted by him, uh, or I, I still remember him playing to the same uh, crew of people, but at that time demonizing gay people by saying that we needed going on national television in the middle of the, uh, you know, prime time, and saying with, with, with a really heavy heart that he's going to have to push for a constitutional amendment to prevent gay people from marrying. Oh, he's a saint, though, just a simple painter. Simple painter. Continue. Stent nativist. Hmm. And, you, are you disappointed? Well, it's not exactly my vision, yeah. but you know what? I'm just an old guy they put out to pasture, so <laughs> <laughs> just a simple painter. The <laughs> <a> simple painter. <laughs> okay, let me give you a hypothetical candidate for 2024. Okay, okay this hypothetical Republican is pro-immigration, pro a path to citizenship for undocumented workers, yeah. pro DACA, pro reasonable gun control, yeah. pro education funding for public schools. Does that person have a shot? Or that Republican, would that Republican have a shot in 2024? Sure, yeah. You think? I think so. I think that uh, it depends upon uh, the emphasis. I think if the emphasis is integrity and decency and trying to work to get problems solved, I think the person has a shot, yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems like you've... By I the know, way, yeah. I think pro-immigration isn't the right way to put it. I yeah. think border enforcement with a compassionate touch. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. That's how I would put it. All right, that's a good immigration basically means let's just open up the borders, and nobody's really for that. And right. you can't have a country that has open borders. 
So you're just in lockstep with a majority of the Republican Party, but just with a compassionate touch. You give them a, you give them a muffin basket. Yeah. Send them home and you give them, a, 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 you know, a mugs with a Uncle Sam on it. Some send send them home. Um, uh, you know what's interesting about this is that's how he won. Yeah. He won by being folksy, by saying compassionate conservatism and uh, making it about CEO president. And hiding the entire Republican agenda, which, um, uh, you know, consisted of tax cuts and then uh, essentially invading other countries. And uh, at that time, a deep amount of uh, homophobia. Yeah, that's not his vision, right? The, the, the isolationist part, not his vision. He would prefer just a little touch of more imperialism. Indeed.